Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. This prayer that Jesus taught his disciples is not only a stunning prayer to pray, it's a manifesto to live by. If we prayed it wholeheartedly, we would live it. If we lived it, the world would change. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Prayer can change the people we pray for. It can change the situations we pray for. But day by day, month by month, year by year, prayer changes us. I'm reminded of the trickles of water that run down the sides of rock and over the years wear a small channel where it's flowed. Prayer effects change in who we are, those of us who pray, as well as in what we pray for. And therefore, even if we're not up to the grand imagination that this prayer promises, the kingdom coming, God's will being done, us having the courage just to live for the daily bread, forgiving everyone who sins against us, even if we cannot do it. Having the courage to pray it opens our horizons and changes us. Give us this day our daily bread. I pray this. Obviously I pray it. It's in the Lord's Prayer, but obviously I do not mean it. And I'll say that again. I pray this, but I do not really mean it. I certainly do not want to live it. I don't want to live this prayer. Some people have to live this prayer. Some people have no choice but to live this prayer. Some people choose to live this prayer and I take my hat off to them. I do not even have the courage to think about what it might mean for me to live this prayer. Now, I'm not suggesting that either I or we all ought to live this prayer. And neither am I suggesting that if we all had the courage to live this prayer, God's kingdom would suddenly come if we all stopped taking responsibility for tomorrow. But we could ask this Lent to have the imagination. Ask God to give us the imagination this Lent just to begin to think how the world might change if we could begin to imagine to live with just a little more than enough. Especially as we know that we have used up far too much of the earth's resources and part of us as a diocese is learning how to think about living more fairly, more within the resources of the earth and gearing up to support the activities that are gearing up for Glasgow later on in the year. So this isn't just about spirituality, this is about our planet and living responsibly with it and living fairly with it within its resources so that it supports all of the people on it into the future so that all God's people are fed. Give us this day our daily bread. The earth is about us, not about me. Forgive us our sins. It's easy enough to ask. The thing here is believing that we have been forgiven. In the Anglican Church, as well as praying these prayers, we have the right of confession before a priest, so that if sometimes we feel it hard to be forgiven, we can ask to pray before a priest and receive absolution. And even in this time of COVID, if it's not possible face to face, I'm sure it can be done by Zoom. And then there's congregational confession. Sometimes, and it needs to be said, sometimes things cannot be forgiven and it needs Christian leaders to assure people that sometimes the sins that have been committed against them, it is not appropriate that they should be required to forgive them. And that needs to be said. And they needn't feel guilty every time they say these words in the Lord's Prayer. There shouldn't be a little voice in the back of their head saying, yes, but you can't forgive. 
because there are some sins that might have been committed against you that you are not required to forgive. And you must rest in the Lord that loves you, cherishes you, and knows what you have been through.